Great grief, great loss, a loss of potential, loss of whakapapa. Tēnei au he punga punga nō tā hoata ko pai nei ki te kōpua kā napa napa ko tūpau tama paki tōku ingoa he mokopuna mō ngā toroirangi nō tū whare toa nō te whare o te heu heu anō hoki. Now, in this ever-changing environment that we live in with COVID-19, I often think about our tūpuna, what they would have done, what choices they would have made living in this environment. Now, I haven't been vaccinated. I'm sitting on the fence, unsure on what to do. So I asked myself, what would my tupuna have done? Ka rongo kōreroai mō ngā pēhitanga o te frūpango ki runga i a rātou. The Spanish flu had a huge impact on ngā te tūwharetoa. Come with me as we unearth the mamai to make informed decisions for the future. I te noe mao te tau tahi mano iwarau te kaumāwaru i hoki mai ngā mōrehu o te pakanga tuatahi o te ao. Ko te whrupang o tērā i hoki tahi mai. He maha ngā urupā o te toko maha kei ngā tōpi toka toa o tūwhare toa. Seven soldiers from Mōkai went to fight in World War I. Ke konei tātou kei Mōkai, konei te tehi o ngā hapū i tino rongo i te ngau o te whurupango o tau wawara. I reflect and I think about the loss of whakapapa, the loss of potential. The tohunga of the time, te piwa decided that whānau will be sent, those who are well, uh, to kākāho, to isolate and then some time later, they were sent to Waihaha, to the whānau in Ngāti Tarakaiahi, to isolate. It wasn't until 1923 they came home. We've travelled across the moana to the foot of my tūpuna maunga, Pihanga, to talk to Uncle Bubs about the mass graves. Uh, kia ora, uh, Bob Smith, uh, no Ngāti Kairoki Tongariro, uh, me Ngāti Kraui. So, I was kind of grew up just over here by beside the Tongariro River down Kutai Street and that on there. As a teenager um, and, that, and hearing stories about um, the Spanish flu and that and, and certainly in, in the likes of where not to go and the likes of the Urupa that's the gravesite where those that were buried on here. My understanding is that it's um, they're generally not too far at all. Um, so it's another iwi, neighbouring iwi from north end of us um, on their hiding down south um, for whatever reason ended up here getting um, the Spanish flu and that and um, uh, quite well up to about 60 of them have said that um, passed away through that event and, and being buried here. It's definitely surreal coming here. You know, I've grown up here my whole life. Straight next to State Highway 1. So it's one of those things out of sight, out of mind. Here we are not. Rangi Pō North Blocks, which is about similar size as well. Um, that one there, I'm led to believe that there was a few more that from Tupatato um, that that were buried in that one. You know, being isolated in the middle of the North Island, it still had a an impact on our people. One of those catastrophes that have happened in the past that, that for whatever reason, you know, our pakeke just didn't really want to talk about it. Here in my marae in Waihi, the village is in a self-imposed lockdown. We know the effects of a pandemic 
all too well. It wasn't until recently I found out about the impacts of the Spanish flu on my own whānau, on my own whakapapa. So we've come to Waihi to have a kōrero with my auntie Te Mare about our tupuna kuia, her namesake, Te Mare Te Heuhe. My kuia, my namesake, Te Mare, she was the daughter of Horonuku Te Heuhe. Um, her mother was Tahuri who was from uh, Ngāti Kahananu and Ngāti Maniapoto. She was the youngest of their five children. Uh, so she married Tahura Kumaro from Tukurangi. She died as a result of the Spanish flu. Her husband died some months later as a result of the Spanish flu also. So when she died and when her husband died, they left behind my grandfather and he became an orphan at a very young age. Behind Tāpaka is a urupā and that is where my queer, Te Mare, Te Hehe, is buried. And they were deliberately placed there in un unmarked graves as a protection mechanism, I suppose, so that people over time and the future generations to come wouldn't rawake, for want of a better word. We never got to know who our queer te mare was. We never really got to know who our kraua te hura kumaro was. And we never really got to know that side of our whānau because of that loss. Without the vaccine and so forth, decimated all of that. Great grief, great loss, a loss of potential of people and the loss of whakapapa. If the technology was was there then I, I, I think a lot of our old people would have you know really supported the, um, the vaccination. The difference basically would have been the continuation of Whakapapa today. Ko te ōranga tonutanga o ngā tungatunga o tā huata te mea nui. Te neo ka mihi ki o ku pākeke i hora i ruku ki roto ki ngā kōrero ahakoa te mamai. What I've come to understand is that our tūpuna had two options, to isolate or to catch the virus. Here we, for us, we have a third option to vaccinate. Ko te pātai, kā hatātau, kā tia ke te neau, kei raro.